Now, one question that comes up often in relation to the refugee crisis is how many can we take? We have a housing crisis. The economy is on its arse. How can we take them is an oft used criticism. None of these problems are the fault of the refugees. First and foremost, though, their right to come here and claim asylum is enshrined in international law. The Refugee Convention, which we are signatories of and which allows people to come here if they choose to. They don't need to stop in the first safe country they come to. We left the EU. That rule is no longer the case. If a refugee wanted to travel to another EU country, the Dublin Convention means they must instead make a claim for asylum where they are. But if they want to come here, they'll be allowed to. Makes you wonder if leaving the EU might have meant more refugees are travelling here, eh? Their reasons for choosing us, whatever they are, are their own, but it is worth pointing out that the UK has offered 100,000 places to Ukrainians in response to the Russian invasion of their country. Though bear in mind it's mostly kind-hearted people opening up their own homes to be able to do so. In 2020, according to the Red Cross, the UK took in roughly a third of that figure, some 37,000 refugees. That was also a third of the number of refugees taken in by the likes of France, Germany and Spain in that year. Now, according to housing charity Crisis, there are some 227,000 people homeless in the UK, mostly in England. That's not necessarily sleeping rough, but sofa surfing or stuck in B&Bs as well. I can certainly take the point their need for housing is just as bad as those of refugees. But if arms sales we've made or political choices we've had a hand in helping create these refugees, then saying they aren't our problem is plain dishonest. If they make a successful claim for asylum, they've every right to come here. Where do we put them now? OK, according to the House of Commons Library, there are 648,000 empty properties in the UK. We could solve homelessness and take more refugees and house them all, no problem. So the biggest question of all is why will no government do what seems to be obvious and put these empty properties back into use? It's a political choice not to. 